Hello, you're watching the CFRU Recording a Radio Program from Home tutorial. This uh, episode will be looking at the USB mix and Apex analog microphone setup. And uh, I've got everything laid out here, but uh, this all comes in the, uh, the box for the USB mix, and this comes in its own box with the cable uh, for the Apex microphone. So the first thing I'm going to do is connect our microphone. There's the pronged end of the XLR cable. That's going to go in here. Make sure it goes all the way in there. You want to make sure that your instrument high Z and line select button is out rather than in. So make sure that that's pressed, that's, that's raised there. Uh, you also want to make sure that phantom power is off. This isn't a phantom power microphone, so you don't want to send 48 volts to it. So make sure that this is out as well, this button here, and that this LED is off. And then we'll make sure all the levels are down to start here. Um, you also, if you're going to be sending music from your computer into this device and mixing it in with your radio show, you want to make sure that this USB playback to channel two, three is pressed down, is assigned. And that's going to let you fade in music that's actually on your computer, the same computer you're recording with. It's going to loop through the system and then feed back into your recording. So we've got our gain level for the microphone right here. And we've got the level for music, or you can use the analog inputs here. If you've got another device for music, maybe your phone with a little uh, cable adapter. And then we've got the main mix level here. So this is going to be the combination of these two, the level that's going into your recording device. And then you've got your headphone level and the headphone jack is right here. So you need a, a quarter inch adapter. If you've just got one of these here, eighth inch, you need the, the adapter to go on the end there for your headphones. So that's connected. Our microphone is connected there. And now I'm going to connect to our computer with the USB, USB cable included with the USB mix. So the kind of square end goes in the back here. And then the standard USB end with the USB symbol up typically goes into our device. So that's running in there. Um, if you find that your device doesn't recognize that mixer, and I'll show you how to find that in a moment, uh, there is a CD, installation CD that comes with the, uh, the art mixer here. Um, and uh, it may just require a, a installation of the firmware, but typically this works right out of the box. So we're connected here. The next thing I'm gonna do is just check the microphone level. So I'm going to bring this up here. I need to grab my mic. Also make sure your mic is on. There's a switch on this mic. There we go. On. Now I'm going to test this out. Check, check, check. Check, 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 check. Hey, 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 hey. So that's that little clip light there is telling me that I'm sending too much level in. Check. Hey, hey, hey. So I might drop that down a little bit, maybe to about nine. And I'm about um, maybe like two inches off of the microphone here when I'm speaking, like so. So that level is set there. And then the next thing to set is your main mix level. So this will bring up, check, check, check. And you can see right here that the um, LED is indicating that I'm sending a signal in. What you want is to, for that to be green, not red. So if I turn that up too loud, you can see it's clipping out. That means we're gonna get distortion. So I would bring that down maybe to about the zero midpoint level there. And then once your headphones are plugged in, you can adjust that to season to taste. So now let's move over to the computer and uh, we'll look at downloading and installing some free recording software. Okay, welcome to the computer section of the tutorial. Uh, we're going to open a browser and look for Ocean Audio, spelled O-C-E-N-A-U-D-I-O. -E we want oceanaudio.com. So this is a great uh, and rather intuitive uh, 
recording software. There are others out there and I'll go over some options uh, at the end of this video. But uh, we're going to look at Ocean Audio today. So it's free, works on Mac, Linux, PC. So we're going to grab that, click download, save file. It's maybe a little different on a PC. And our download is completed. So I'm going to close my browser. We've got our Ocean Audio installer here. Double click. Agree to the terms and conditions. And with the Mac, we'll drag this to the Applications folder. PC will create it in the Programs folder. And we're going to look for that program in Applications or Program or Program List on a PC. So we've got Ocean Audio right here. And then we're going to open this. And this is the first thing you see with your uh, Ocean Audio interface. I'm going to get rid of that little dialog there because we don't need uh, plugins necessarily other than what's available in the effects menu and built into this software. So right now, this is a really basic interface here. What we want to do first is make sure that we have the, the correct audio interface selected. So let's go over to Ocean Audio and Preferences. And you can adjust some settings here as you like. So core audio is fine. Uh, playback device, you can either use your built-in output to hear through your speakers or your headphones plugged into your laptop. Uh, or you can use the USB audio codec. So that's the device that we were looking at at the beginning of this video. The mixer is the runs on the USB audio codec. So I'm going to select that. And we're going to select, that's our output playback device. And we're going to select the record device is the same thing. USB audio codec. All of these settings can stay as they are. Sample rate at 44.1 is a, a good option. Buffer size, 1024 is fine. Um, I often start with 512, uh, and then if I'm noticing it's kind of glitching, then I'll adjust to a larger buffer size uh, when I'm recording. So that looks good. We can close this. Uh, and now we'll create a new file to start doing some recording. So let's go File, New, and we'll start with a stereo file over here. So we're recording at 44.1. That can always stay the same. 16 bits is just fine. And we'll leave it as stereo. And we'll hit OK. So now we've got a file happening here. It's untitled at the moment. We can right click over there um, and save it as whatever we'd like. So I recommend clicking Save As and giving it a name that makes it easy to find. So test CFRU and I'll record it to my desktop just so I can find it easily at the end here. Hit OK. And I'm going to record it as, MP, as an MP3. So we're going to scroll up here to MP3, MPEG Layer 3, and select there. And for CFRU programming purposes, that's just fine for quality. So we're going to stick with that. It will allow you to maintain some space on your hard drive. So recording as MP3 is great. And these Settings should stay uh, the next time you try and create a new file. You'll see the same settings uh, by default now. So we're going to hit save. And if I move this a little bit, we can see that I've created that on my desktop here. So my file is going to be over there, my recording. And now we're ready to record. So I'm going to go up and click on my record button. And we're running the audio in. And you can see my voice is showing up as waveforms, as a visual representation of the sound waveforms on the screen. If you start recording and you get something like this, hello, hello, check, 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 one, two, check, check, check. And you can see we're only recording into one side, one channel where we want to see it in both channels here. If I was to play this back, <clears throat> you would only hear the left ear playing, the left speaker. We want to make sure that we're recording on both speakers. So the way to fix that 
is to go up to controls and record mixer configuration. We want to make sure we're on the record section here. And you can see how the different channels are mapped. So we want it to be set one and one. So channel, channel one, input one is one. Channel two, input two is one. And then we'll close. And now we'll hit record again. Check, check, check. Hello, one, two, one, two, one, two. And we can see now that that audio is being split. That single microphone, channel one, is being split into those two sides of the stereo channel. Now I can adjust the input level uh, using the mixer controls, the, either the gain for the microphone or the main mix control if I want to boost that up a little bit. Check, check, check. Hello, hello, hello. And there we go, it's a little bit louder. That's a good place for your peaks to be ending up there where uh, you don't want any of these peaks to be jumping out outside of the frame that you're looking at. We can hit the stop button here or using the space button. And there we go. Now to, to see the whole file that I've just recorded, I'm gonna zoom out. So your zoom tools are up here in the corner. I'm gonna just hold that down until it can't go any further. And now we're looking at the entire recording we've just made. Now typically what I would do next is go over to this little disc icon here and click on that to save. And you can see that's updated over here. This is the, the newly recorded file. And you could also do that from the file menu up here, obviously save or save as if you wanted to create a new file from what you just recorded. From here, we can do some quick editing. So as you'll notice over here, some of the earlier voice recording I was doing was a little quiet compared to these levels here. This is a good place for your peaks to be right here. And this is a bit loud, but we're okay because it didn't go beyond the frame that we're looking at. So we can do some really quick uh, adjustment of that those levels. Uh, if we want to zoom in, we can click somewhere where the uh, the levels change, maybe about, let's say here. I'm going to zoom in there just a little bit, click those magnifying glasses, and I'm just going to select everything before this line here. And you always want to make your edit points between the active waveforms. So I'm going to drag this over all the way to the beginning. I'm going to zoom back out a little bit. Now that I've got this whole thing selected here, I'm going to click on the volume adjustment tool or the gain adjustment tool right here, and it brings up this little dialog box and I can drag this to turn up the level and kind of match the peaks of my other sections here. So that's pretty good. And we'll apply. And there we go. Uh, so now these levels you'll see are, are comparable to what was happening later in the file once we turned our, our gain up there. We can also do some quick chopping and deleting and editing of the file. So if I select an area just by dragging over with my left clicker down, I just hit delete and it chops that right out. Same with an area like this in the middle of the file. Can you, you want to make sure that you're not chopping off any active waveform there. Chop that there. And so you can edit out any uncomfortable silence, anything you want to cut by just selecting and deleting. You can also copy and paste in the same way. So if I wanted to move this section, I can right click or I can use my key commands, command C, command V, command X. So I'm going to cut and we'll put that one, let's say right here. I'll right click again and hit paste or control command V. There you go. So you can rearrange little bits of dialogue as you like there. The next thing we're going to do is drop in a piece of music. Uh, so if you're using your computer audio, we can record that right into the, uh, the system here. Let's, uh, let's just delete this ending section here. And let's say that our intro for our show ended here and we want to drop a piece of music right there. To play some music through your computer and record it into this session, we can go over, we want to make sure we change our device output settings to USB. So we'll go to the sound settings of our device and make sure that we're using the USB audio codec as the input and the output. We can close that. And now if I hit record 
and play on a piece of music, we should see it recording into this device. And I may have to adjust the levels a little bit on my mixer for that channel two, three. So we're gonna hit record, make sure our mic is turned down. Although you can't hear it uh, going into the system here, you would hear it in your headphones. Um, it is recording the song live in here and I can adjust the levels by turning the gain knob. So there you go, I'm just turning that gain knob up and down to make sure, it, again, the peaks kind of match where my voice peaks out. That's the key, to make sure that the music isn't screaming loud and the voice is super quiet. That's that, you could fade it out if you like and so on. And then you can just stop the song or stop the player when it's finished and hit the stop button or space bar to stop your recording and then zoom out a little bit just to see what's happened here. So again, we're going to want to probably delete a little bit of the uh, silence before the song. There you go. And here's your voice intro and it drops right into the piece of music. So you can record your whole show in a linear way in this stereo file. You can also drop in songs if you like, if you have the files right on your computer, if you prefer. Uh, although that requires a little bit of adjustment with the, uh, the levels as dropping a digital audio file of a piece of music is going to be quite a bit louder than the recording that we're doing here. But let's do that. So if I go to iTunes and I grab a piece of music We'll just drag it to my desktop here first, so I have it where I want it. And then I'll drag it into the file menu. And you could do that with all of the songs we're gonna use in your show. Just have them in the file menu over here handy. Now I can double click on that to see the actual file. And this is the whole file here. You can see I'm zoomed all the way out. So I'm gonna click anywhere in there and do Command A or Control A on a PC to select the whole file. Then we're gonna copy that, double click on our first file, and let's say we wanna paste that song in right after this song fades out. Put your cursor over here, the white line there, wherever you click, and paste. And there you go. And as you can see, this is quite a bit louder, so I recommend making sure your volume adjustment is available and just dragging that level down a little bit to match again to match your voice and the peaks of other music you just want your peaks to be around the same level so we'll apply that there we go and that looks pretty good and so the entire show process is pretty much just that either copying and pasting music and recording your own voice or playing music on another program with the channel two and channel three volume up on your mixer, which, and, and this on record in ocean audio. And that just allows you to send music into this program from any program on your computer. Something to always remember in audio production is ABS always be saving. So anytime you add something new to this file, this original file, make sure you click that save button. And throughout the show production, you're just gonna keep an eye on this clock down here. If you have an hour show, you'll probably try and aim for about 59 minutes, 58 minutes so that there's room for PSAs as part of our automation system. Uh, but you can track the clock down here. You can always jump back and play and listen back to other sections, make some edits as you like, move things around. Um, the last thing I'll show you is if you're finding that your voice is not standing out against the music, uh, or rather the volume is, is quite a bit different than the music levels, you can go in and just select your voice sections Let's zoom in here. So our first, our voice ended right there. We can listen back to it to preview it and make sure, but 
That's where our voice ended initially. And I'm going to go right back to the beginning and select that whole file. And there's this little limiting tool or normalize tool, uh, which will boost the level, um, kind of even out the level of your voice and, and make it sound a bit more pronounced uh, in comparison with the music that you're playing. So if we click that, you'll see it kind of just brings out some of the peaks, uh, but you, you will notice a sonic difference uh, where it stands out a little bit more. Um, so you can experiment with that. The main thing is that you're aiming for your peaks in your voice to be around the same as your peaks in the music. So that looks pretty comparable. And just always listen back to the different sections of your show to make sure that they uh, they sound consistent, that there isn't a big leap in volume between your voice and the music, etc. And once you're finished, just make sure you save the show and send it on over to our program director to enter into the system. Thanks for watching. Stay tuned.